not skip your vegetables, okay? I'm watching you. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to a new video of mine. Today, I have a really exciting video that I wanted to share with you guys. I've had tons and tons of questions, so I thought, what better way than to make a video and talk to you guys about it in person. Really in person, but you guys know what I mean. But I really wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because... Seriously, I've gotten a lot of DMs asking me, how'd you do it? How did you lose weight? How did you, um, you know, look so good or whatever? Like, I've had so many questions about the way I eat, what I eat, like how often I eat, um, my workout routine, stuff like that. So this is really for you guys who are looking to have a major weight loss transformation. It doesn't even have to be major, just something a little bit that's going to change you and change your way of thinking. Personally, when I think of weight loss, I do not think of things as a diet. Uh, typically, when I want to start being more careful about like what I'm eating or losing weight or just you know shredding fat, I think of it as a lifestyle. It's something that you're going to have to change your mindset for and continue to do. It's just not like, I'm going to diet for two weeks and then I'm going to be skinny forever. That's just not how it works. And that's exactly how I thought it worked. When I start, <laughs> started my weight loss journey, I was like, it's alright, I'll be good for a couple weeks and lose some weight and then I'll just go right back to normal. No, you can't do that. The first, first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was your water intake. And I know this seems so silly, like, yeah, I drink water. Like, so what? No. Like, you guys have to pay attention to how much you guys are drinking. I seriously have seen such a huge difference when drinking the amount of water that I should be or even just close to what I should be. I have a hydro jug, so they are 73 ounces, so they are actually a little bit more than a half gallon. And actually, what they recommend is for you to drink half your body weight in ounces. So, for an instance, if you weigh 100 pounds, you should be drinking 50 ounces of water a day. And you guys, I drink at least 73 ounces a day. Like, I chug that sucker, and I get it down. Let me tell you, I get it down. And at first it was really hard for me to drink water, but I feel like the more I exercise and uh, the more I'm active, it's so easy to do. Um, I mean, it's not easy. I mean, I'm still chugging water when I don't want to and stuff like that to make sure that I'm, I'm telling my mind that I might be thirsty rather than hungry. So you guys have to pay attention to, especially when you guys are first waking up in the morning, if you're really hungry or if you just need a glass of water. Sometimes I will just take my vitamins and chug some water and I don't feel hungry anymore. So really make sure that you guys are actually hungry uh, versus when you actually just might need something to drink. Water for me is not only for weight loss. I mean, I've seen a huge difference when trying to achieve weight loss, but I can tell you it also is so, so beneficial for your skin. I have struggled with eczema for a very long time. If you guys are new to my channel, I will leave some pictures here of what my skin used to look like. And I'm telling you, between nutrition, fitness, and water intake, and like sleep and stuff, my skin has changed dramatically. And I can tell you that um, even just like a couple weeks ago, my skin was breaking out really bad around my mouth. I had a bunch of like pimples and just like huge breakouts and I was like, what is happening? And I noticed when I started working out more and drinking my water like I should be and just being more consistent, my skin, you guys, has cleaned up so, so much. Like it's just like I can't even describe it to you. So like I try to preach out to you guys of what you guys should be doing but honestly sometimes I have to uh, kick things back into gear and pay attention to what I'm doing and how much water I'm drinking because sometimes I can forget too we are all human and I can tell you that no one eats clean and perfect and drinks the exact same amount or they should be doing every single day every day is different one day might be harder one day might be easier please don't beat yourself up over it Guys, it's okay. You guys are trying, and as long as you guys are trying, I mean, kudos to you because there's people out there who aren't trying, and I just want you guys to know that if you guys are trying, it is okay. So a major thing that I wanted to bring up was don't be afraid of carbs. I cannot even tell you guys how many times I've heard people like, well, do you eat carbs? Did you cut out bread or, you know, stuff like that? And let me tell you, I do not cut out bread. I do not cut out carbs. I recently have been trying to cut out gluten just because of my skin and my eczema, but I can tell you 
Carb-wise, complex carbs. Please do not deprive yourself of complex carbs. You need them. Your body needs them. Your body thrives off carbs. It converts into energy. You guys need carbs. Seriously, do not skip out on carbs. I know you guys, some of you might be doing keto or like the keto idea. Your girl loves carbs. No keto for me. No. Complex carbs. Sweet potatoes. Bananas. Oatmeal. It's all good for you as long as you guys are doing it in moderation and let's say you're not having five bananas for breakfast, uh, you're having three cups of oatmeal for lunch, and then you're having like a giant plate of sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, uh, and like all these carbful things all in one day in one period. When you have too much, yes, it could probably cause weight gain. Weight gain. Uh, it could probably cause weight gain. So as long as you guys are having your complex carbs in moderation, you guys need colorful plates. You guys need carbs. You guys need protein. You guys need to eat your vegetables. Like, it's just it's that simple. Like when you when I think about eating, I want to make sure I have some type of fiber. So my greens. I have some type of protein, whether it's chicken or like red meats or whatever it is, veggie burgers, doesn't matter. I have my source of protein, and then I also have some type of source of carbs. Your vegetables can be your carbs if you want them to be. Let's say you're having cauliflower rice instead of regular rice. But personally, I actually use like uh, jasmine rice or some carbs I usually do like spaghetti noodles um, but instead of spaghetti noodles I'll actually use a spaghetti squash so I'm getting more of a veggie intake because you guys fiber is super super important when you're trying to achieve weight loss and I know this is so simple and I've said this on my channel before but fiber is going to help you have regular bowel movements it's going to help your digestive system and it's going to be something that's going to regulate your metabolism and help you lose weight do not skip your vegetables, okay? I'm watching you. I know some of you are thinking, girl, I hate vegetables. <sighs> Honey, me too. And you know what? Sneak it into a smoothie. Add some spinach to your smoothie. You won't even taste it. If you guys are gonna do like a strawberry banana smoothie or a um, frozen berry smoothie where it all comes prepackaged like blueberries and raspberries and stuff, they're so strong. Add like a dash of orange juice, fill it up with some water and some ice, some chia seeds, and throw in a handful of spinach. I promise you, you will not taste it. So it took me a very long time to figure this out, but I used to be very, like, I don't know how you guys want to describe it, but like, food used to be my enemy. I'd overthink way too hard. I would cry if I ate something too bad. I would do research about things before I ate it. Like I was so mentally exhausted with food to the point where I ate junk food instead because I was so stressed out about finding something good to eat. And please, please, please don't be like me. And don't think about so much about what you're eating. Like I know you guys want to be careful and eat clean, but like just make it simple. Eat what you like eat what tastes good, flavor it to your liking. I tend to look on Pinterest and YouTube for recipes and I used to just be like strict by the book, like that's what the recipe had to be because that's what they put in it and that's why they're losing weight. Honey, no. Please eat what you like, what you crave, what your likings are and it, weight loss will be so much easier when you're not thinking so hard about stuff and trying to be precise in exactly the way like somebody else is because that other person may have different likes and beliefs and taste than you and you won't like the same thing and then you won't like eating it and then you'll think oh, eating healthy is too hard and then I don't want to do this okay please eat stuff that you like and enjoy so you guys will have a easier easier transition on the topic of eating and thinking I usually try to consist of telling myself, is it nutritional for me? Does my body um, need that? Is it going to be beneficial for my health before I eat it? Because, you know, you guys, fried foods and junk food like Oreos and stuff, it's not nutritional value. Your body doesn't use it and store it for energy or to help with skin, give you vitamins and minerals and nutrients. You guys have to eat to fuel and eat to take care of yourself. One important reminder is that you guys are human. You will have cravings. 
Uh, one trick that I like to do is look on Pinterest a lot for healthier baked goods. So if I'm craving chocolate chip cookies, I will look up a healthier version and stuff for substitutes that I can use to make it a little bit more better for me without having super big guilt. Major, major tip that I have for you guys. I don't think I would have any weight loss if it wasn't for this. So if I can give you one tip, it is to be active. And I know that sounds so simple, but like a lot of people think that they can just drop a massive amount of weight through eat, just eating a certain way. And don't get me wrong, please don't get me wrong. I know there's people that have done that, but they're more likely to relapse and go back to junk food and gain it back more faster. And I find, personally, just by my opinion, that if you guys are staying active and staying fit, and let's, let's say you go even just for walks around your neighborhood or walk your dogs, uh, let's say you go swimming or you're going biking or boating or you're just getting outside and being active or even going to the gym or anything like that, I feel like you're more likely to sustain and keep that body weight even if you were to go back to eating not so healthy. Um, so I've known a lot of people in my life who have been very good at fitness and worked out a ton and used to be really, really like toned and lean and went back to eating junk food and gained some weight, but actually have created their body to a way where it didn't seem like they gained very much weight. Does that make sense? <laughs> So like they kept their physique pretty well because of the way that their lifestyle used to be. Like one major thing that can interrupt someone's weight loss is the support they have from others and how other people eat around them. So like for instance, my family and friends, my fi my fiance, he eats like crap, okay? So when everybody's eating bad around you, they're like, here, have this, it won't kill you, blah, blah, blah. And that continuously happens all the time or if they want you to go out to eat like three nights in a row with them or whatever it may be. It's so hard to get caught up and just eat what everybody else is eating. And I can tell you that I have actually took healthy snacks to the movie theater. I've took my own food to family gatherings and just ate it while I was there and didn't eat what they were eating. So like it really takes a lot of discipline just understanding that if you're going somewhere, be prepared. Take healthy snacks with you, prep them out ahead of time. Uh, if you made dinner the night before, whip it up, put it into a container and take it with you wherever you're going. Um, so if you guys are going to work, obviously you're gonna pack a lunch, so that's easy. But I'm talking about like, let's say you're gonna be out grocery shopping, then you gotta run to this place, and then you have to go drop off paperwork, and you to run to the bank, and then all of a sudden, you're starving like you're starving like you're so hungry and you're like I need something now I can't wait till I go home to cook something I need to go through something that's fast and easy and convenient I'm telling you if you have already prepared a bag of snacks or just any type of easy on the go meal you won't do that you won't I've done it so many times where I had to pack snacks or even just whip up a protein shake or a smoothie and just take it with me. Because I know that I'm gonna be out for a while and I know I'm gonna get hungry. You gotta be prepared. So to finish this video, I wanted just to mention that weight loss is not easy. I mean, it's obviously hard. It didn't just happen overnight and it's not gonna leave overnight. So it takes work, it takes determination, and I promise I cannot focus on this camera today. And it's driving me insane. It takes time, it takes dedication, and it's going to have to use some discipline. And I know it's hard, trust me, I know it's hard. From personal experience, it is tough, but I promise you it is so worth it. And in the end, you're gonna be so happy that you did it, and I just cannot even describe to you how much of a better feeling it is to be healthy and active and just feel good about yourself. And it's just, 
definitely life-changing. With that being said, I hope you guys are motivated to start your weight loss journey. Please don't start cold turkey. You guys can start incorporating even just the littlest things and adding adjustments where you guys would not even think that it would make a huge difference. If you guys have not already, please follow me on my Instagram. It is at Healing Happens and I will put it down in the description box for you. It has tons of food inspiration and weight loss motivation for you guys. So if you guys want to look up my profile, ask me any questions, I'll be so so happy to help you guys and just make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel for any future videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!